All right. All right, good evening, welcome to uh, the little homestead here in uh, southwest Florida. This is outside of the house I call the Adventure Lab, and we got Riot here, and I, as I told you guys, I'd come back and I would do a gear review of what I carry in what I call my 10C Plus bag. This is my everyday go-to grab bag that I carry with me at work. To my truck, and uh, I'll show you what it is. So basically, my haversack by Hidden Woodsman. I really like this bag. I've been wanting it a long time, and uh, I've had it for a couple months now. And uh, it's definitely been a great bag and a good investment. And uh, like I said, this is what I carry every day um, in the truck. I do have a tomahawk, which I've been known to make fun of people with tomahawks, but it's lighter than an ax, uh, hatchet, but it's a good tool. Um, normally if I'm day hiking, I've got my heavy knife that I carry on me. It's between this and the folding saw in here. I don't really need an ax or a hatchet but it's just an extra tool. I do carry a heavy shirt. One of the big things about you know, survival is your base layer, what you're primarily wearing. Uh, this is basically what I wear for work, you know? But, uh, and this is Florida, Southwest Florida. It's hot, it's hot all night, hot, hot all day. But I do carry a blanket in case I find myself in a spot where maybe it's not so warm. that out there. Um, I carry my steel water bottle. Nice thing about the haversack is it's got the molly on the back so on the sides so I do have a canteen pouch there and I do have a little dump pouch. Uh, that's a little 511 dump pouch right there which is really nice because I can you know, just bust it open and either use it to stick camera gear in or collect a tender bundle for making my fire. It's just a nice little extra space. Um, I do carry an extra water bottle. I think two bottles is kind of like my minimum because it's easy to go through one. And uh, this one here, I, I'm very particular about the bottles I pick because in my pack I have a water filtration system and I can screw it right on top of here. So, two ways to contain water, multiple ways to purify it. I can boil water. You can see this has been on the fire a couple times, but this is the Sawyer Mini, and that just screws right on there. I've got a little pouch in here. I've got a filter plunger there so I can clean stuff. It's good for cleaning wounds, but that's a nice lightweight kit purifying water. Uh, like I said, this is my 10 C's. So as we go through here, one of the C's is my compass. This is the Sunto M2 compass with a mirror magnifying glass, which gives me another way to start a fire. Um, and that is secured on my bag so I don't lose it. Um, this is a Shema. This is one of my favorite pieces of kit. I sleep out in the woods a lot. I can take this and just drape it over my face. It's light, it's breathable, it keeps the bugs, the mosquitoes off my face. So I love it. Um, my next favorite piece of kit is, this is just a military style poncho. It's a little bit smaller and lighter than what we had actually in the military. But I do have six tent stakes in it. I also have a bunch of cordage in it. It's down at the bottom here. So I've got about 50 foot of 550 cord. So I've got a good heavy ridge line. I've got some really light paracord type material, which I make my Prusiks. I make all my guy lines out of so I can you know, make a nice shelter. I try to uh, 
add a picture of that shelter or shelters that I've made with this thing. This is, you know, I love it because it's, you know, besides making the nice shelter, the rain gear, you know, especially out here, you know, it's really raining really heavy. My last time out it was. I throw it on, it's breathable. I don't get super hot and sweaty. If I get too hot, I can throw it over. I love that piece of kit. Um, next in my 10 C's is combustion. This is actually, this is my fire kit. This is a little bit of a Blackbeard's fire starter. I've been trying that out. Um, my firebox titanium stove. bottle hanger, the thera rod, and a striker. Some char cloth, some inferno from, actually, while I'm here, I got a new lighter to uh, keep in that kit. You know? So that's my combustion. I got some bug spray, my headlamp, it's one of my candling devices, cutting, got to have that emergency water, wine bottle opener, you know, but it's got my knife, it does have a little scissors on it, you know, and a little sewing all right there, so canvas sail needle that is one of the 10 C's um, chili mac some food I get lost and stuck out in the woods I have at least one hot meal um, but back in here this is actually one of my other favorite pieces of kit that goes with this so it's a little bush pot this is a bottle hanger I can take this, it's got little holes on the side here so I can actually hang this. Draw a little bit. See that? Hang that over a fire. Got your little lid. Boom. I love this little piece for just goes right on the stove. It's one of the greatest pieces of kits I bought. I got it from Self Reliance Outfitters. But another C, along with this C, is cotton cloth. I can use this for filtering water, you know, get the chunks out. Um, first aid. Um, another part of my kit. This is a cliff bar, some bag of nuts, some hot sauce packs, some things of tea, um, some electrolyte packs. So it all goes in there. Carry an extra knife. This is a Mora uh, Heavy Carbon. Just in case I actually don't have my regular bushcraft knife on me, I have that. My spoon, titanium spork. So, I can get my meal. I just stuffed this in there. This is a, one of those scarfs that goes around your face. Especially during this COVID time, we always got to have a mask these days. But uh, I've got one in my hair because my hair is really big and crazy. This is a Friskers folding saw. Um, it's pretty good. Got it from Walmart, probably 10 bucks. I know there's some lot better saws out there, the silky saws and all that, but you know, I'm kind of on a budget. That is some um, same twine, some cordage, some tarred cordage there, a little extra cordage there. This is my big splurge in here. This is a pillow. It's an inflatable pillow. 
took it out camping, I used it, and at three ounces, it was well worth throwing in my kit. One breath, it's full. It's got lots of options to uh, hold it up and to uh, just make it, make life more comfortable. Probably actually order another one to keep in my, my big go bag, but that was great. Another piece of favorite kit, this is one of those like survival blanket tarps. This one is green and silver, and it actually matches this here, so I don't have to pull the whole thing out. This one here is actually pretty lightweight. I have another one, which is, um, I think it's by Sol, S-O-L. I got it at REI. Uh, it's quite a bit heavier than this, um, but if I was out hunting, and I was gonna take this kit, probably a little bit lighter version of this, I would probably take that for an actual safety, emergency blanket, shelter. Um, these are really good. I have slept on these out in the woods. And uh, it's either just a good sit-on pad, or like I said, you know, unfold it. It's thick enough to kind of protect you from this, the roughness of the ground. And uh, like I said, it's got that silver side, so it does contain the heat so that's another great piece of kit um, this is one of my ankle IFAX emergency first aid kits um, it has a tourniquet combat gauze some 4x4s I do have an extra flashlight in it this is actually one of two that I carry my other one actually has a chest seal in it and a decompression needle I am an EMT firefighter so it's kind of a big deal to have emergency medical equipment. Um, this up. What do we have here? I have a solar battery charger. Um, it's a battery and I've got a cord so I can plug in my phone, charge it. I also have a car charger and a wall charger. Um, like I said, this is my everyday go kit and if I'm at the office or go somewhere and my phone dies, I've got options to charge it. Some wet wipes to, you know, do what bears do in the woods. Um, keep ourselves clean. But, I've got extra bandana. That's it. Oh, I do have on my strap here, I do have, like I said, a bandana and a uh, Leatherman on here. Which is a great multi, not obviously a great multi tool. That's what I have, and uh, pretty satisfied with this kit. I don't, I don't know if there's anything I would change on it. I've used everything here. Um, I know it works, but it doesn't work. I have spent the night out in the woods with just this kit, so I've used it all. And, and uh, no, it's not the most comfortable setup, but better than not having anything. I mean, I've actually done some pretty nice stuff with this. So that's what I have. You've all asked what I carry in my 10C plus kit. That's what I carry. Um, like I said, if I was going on a day hike, I probably would shed a couple things. Um, just to make it a little bit lighter. Maybe I, if it was a short day hike, I'd go with just one water bottle. Maybe, well, I've got some cargo tape, canvas tape. That's one of the things I didn't show in here. Um, but yeah, it's a good kit. I like it. And it serves me well. And it weighs in at 15 pounds. That's probably five pounds heavier than what I think ideal weight is. But like I said, if I shed the tomahawk, um, maybe got rid of, maybe like the, the, the heavy survival blanket, got rid of that. Maybe got rid of one water bottle, that bring it down to 10 pounds. You know, make it a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller. And also, if I was on a day hike, I'd probably have like a book on wild edibles or plants or something. So you're giving one thing up for another. But cargo pants, cargo shorts, there you go. Anyways, that's what I carry, guys. Um, I hope you like it. Like I said, I've got all the 10 C's represented here. Uh, if you're not familiar with the 10 C's, uh, 10 C's of Survival, Dave Canterbury. That's where I get that from. You know, having your cotton cloth, your compass your containers, your combustions, your cutting tools, your cargo tape, your canvas needles, 
What almost am I missing here? Um, cutting tools. I'm always missing something there. But I got it all here. Cordage. All right. So we thank you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. It's uh, These videos are definitely a work progress I'm getting better with them I actually got two cameras up here seeing what works what doesn't work but uh, I hope you like it and um, I look forward to your feedback uh, thank you all and have a great day